Many years ago, before I was even thinking about going into recording and music production, I was playing the drums at my band's rehearsal space, and after playing for a while, I realized I was hearing some odd frequency resonating in my headphones all the time. I checked all the drums and went searching for the reason for that, but I couldn't find it. Turns out, it was the acoustic guitar that was standing in the corner of the room the whole time, but which was still connected to the mixer to which my headphone was connected to. So now, years later, we finally got to it and could recreate that experiment once again. But we thought, let's not just do the same thing, but let's do it with more than just one guitar. <laughs> so we collected all the guitars we could find and gave every guitar a different tuning and positioned those guitars around the drum kit. <laughs> Our initial plan was actually to have a certain chord for a certain drum, so that you could, for instance, have a D minor on the tom and a, and a C7 on the floor, or whatever. Experimenting with that was a lot of fun, but in the end it turned out that with most guitars it's very hard to do, because on most guitars the drums sound really thin, and the noise level ratio is really bad. So if you turn up the gain, you have a lot of noise, very little drum sound, and it's not really that usable. So it turns out this guitar, which is a lag guitar, four seasons, spring, everything but an expensive guitar, that guitar is perfect for that purpose. So in a live situation, that's the exact opposite of what you want, because you would create a lot of feedback, obviously. But for this scenario, this guitar is perfect. <laughs> so in the end, we stayed with one guitar, but did several takes with different tunings. Don't get me wrong, obviously the sound that you get from the drums is really not a nice drum sound. But still, there's some magic to it. So if you don't treat the singer right and just record it, it sounds like this. But if you mix it right, and if you add some effects to it, it can also sound like this. If you then add that signal to the whole drum mix, the atmosphere is really special. So here's what we did. First of all, we equalized a lot on that signal. We got rid of all the low rumble that we don't want it. We got rid of all the low mid boominess that is in there. But we also boosted a lot of harmonics that are really nice in the open-tuned guitar sound. After that, we added a compressor to even out the dynamics of the signal a little bit. But what also comes with the compressor is that you boost a lot of noise, so we did some denoising after that. And then, of course, we added, most importantly, exactly, a ton of reverb. Position-wise, we found out that it's really nice to put the guitar in front of the bass drum because it gives the music a very tonic feeling if you always hear the open-tuned guitar every time you hit the downbeat. In the end, we added some piano and some bass to the track, and I think the atmosphere that creates is really special. <laughs> 